coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between the Nigerian nightmare Kamaru Usman and Colby Covington. Colby Covington maintains status as one of the best welterweights in the world. He is absolutely one of the best welterweights in the world. And a lot of times people mistake the talk and the persona for Colby not being able to be a fighter. Colby Covington is a fantastic fighter, and he will get in your face from the moment the official or the moment the referee says fight and the pace and the cardio and the work rate that he will push on his opponents is enough to break guys. Guys that are traditionally known as phenomenal cardio fighters like Rafael Dos Anjos melt under Kobe Covington. He is a great fighter and a very, very hard worker. All right, so here he is, the Nigerian Nightmare, and you can also now call him the UFC welterweight champion. He had to go 10-0 in the UFC to finally realize that UFC belt, beat Tyron Woodley, and establish himself as the standard at 170 pounds. And he never lost track of what was out in front of him. Even though he had to win 10 fights, Kamaru Usman understood that he would do whatever it took to become UFC champion, and when he got that opportunity, it was the wrestling, the cardio, and the ability to follow the game plan set out in front of him by Henry Hoof and Greg Jones that allowed him to blank Tyron Woodley on the scorecards and win that welterweight championship. Unbelievable performance by Usman. Truly one of the hardest workers in the game, and if you watch that Woodley fight, you get the sense that it is gonna take a Herculean effort for somebody to dethrone the new hunted at 170 pounds, Kamaru Usman. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with similar height and some differences in reach. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the Ladies octagon. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 16 wins, three losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Kobe Chaos coming time! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A wrestler holding a professional record of 20 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go with round one. And sometimes when you have a closely contested matchup on paper, grappler versus grappler, we see a striking affair, but all indications are these guys are going to try to clinch and try to do what got them with the big shots. They will try to clinch, right? They may try and strike, but ultimately, John, they are grapplers at their core. And at their core, they need to be in contact. The only issue is, normally, for both of these guys, when they're in these grappling exchanges, they never face anyone that's as diverse or as good in these positions as they are tonight. They get mirror images of themselves. Oh, man, look at that. Big turn, perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful take down. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Closed guard. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your point. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. 
Just over two minutes to go in the round. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Usman. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. 90 seconds and counting here in our opening round. Now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from his top position. He is doing a really good job of relaxing. Not panicking because he's getting choked. Oh, man, that was slick. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Covington. Fighters back to their feet here. So we pull up the stats for you now. 32 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. Uh, the best head kicks you'll ever see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on the feet right now. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Now goes in and secures the takedown. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, DC's back from the can as we get this next really? round underway, and his striking in that previous round was so good. I got tired just watching that. Out. I mean, he did a great job of landing strikes, but not only just punches, not only just strikes, they were significant strikes. A lot of punches outside of the jab. I've gotten in trouble a lot of times about what's significant and what's not. Right. But I'm telling you, he landed a lot of punches that were very easy to make that determination. Leave the stack guys alone. Jim. Leave them alone, man. Over and over, I get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Covington. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Now Usman really getting the ground and pound going, DC. You got to hip escape. You got to do something to get out of harm's way. You have to move. You have to be doing something. Usman's one of the best grapplers from the top that you've ever seen. Unbelievable awareness. Knows how to control the hips. He doesn't give you any out when he's on top of you. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Get to the Covington gets up. He is back on the feet here. Oh, single collar tie here. Big punch to the body. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching. He's going to start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Cummings. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up and see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, a lot of these shots with power behind them. 66 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. And landing at a 74% clip, of course, on a fish. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. Covington's has got full mount now. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Us. The ground and pound has been there all night. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Chin in, but now it's starting to slip under the neck. Oh, wow, oh! Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round, so the fighter was 
really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. So with that, our next round is underway. It looked like maybe we wouldn't get here. There was a close attempt on a submission in the previous round, but the fighters were to fight another round. It was very, very close. If it's me, and I'm just close to telling him, get right back to it. This time, he will not be able to... Maybe the best strike he's thrown tonight. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive Sauce reference in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for Bushman gets the takedown. Nice entry on that attack. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Covington. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Keeping busy here off of it. Now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Covington gets up, but he looks dazed. He looks confused. Well, as we call out numbers here, 96 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. And landing at a pretty good clip, 55% thus far tonight against Colby Covington. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah. Oh, John, that was so nice. What a beautiful takeout. Final 10 seconds of the fight. decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 30-27. Played the winner by unanimous decision, Colby Chaos Covington. Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted a finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best of your ability.